Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Right, we definitely want on here... I get 5 cellulose fiber for 10 green algae. And in order to keep everything running as rapidly as possible on here, I am definitely going to need... Because it's only putting it in on one side. Like, all of this extra now is only coming up onto one side of the belt. It's not going into two sides of the belt. Which is not an ideal situation to be in. But what we really need, I think, is just to have some extra ones of these. So if I was to put two feeding in on each of these, like that, that will speed that up a bit, and then that's going to speed up the rate at which these are all being pulled away. I need to make more of the inserters. I've only got enough for 17 inserters here. It's because I don't have the timber. Uh, we need to go and find some timber. That is going to be quite essential in a minute. So down this side, I got nothing here. That's because the belt isn't bringing it in fast enough because I'm only running it on one side of the belt. This is literally just doing one side of the belt. So we got to do something here to... Yet yeah, there is an easy way to do that. There is a very easy way to do that. We do this. We put that one in there. And then I rotate that one round that way. Uh, that should help. Well, that'll help a little bit. But then what I can do is I can bring that up here. And I can add a little bit more in up there. Right. Except that one's now starved. Let's put it in there then, shall we? Is that going to be right? That seems to be working okay, and the speed that this is coming in, they are unloading all five of the cellulose fiber before the next ones are actually made, so that is running, but it's now running absolutely flat out. I don't have any shortages of that anywhere. I can go up to here. I got 37 on there. I'm going to take a stack of 200, and now I need to go and find some timber somewhere sure where I left it. Oh, I know where there's timber. I know where we can go and find some. We want to wander over this way. So our farm back over here, the algae farm, is now working acceptably. This is all completely full. We got the brown algae that's coming off of the rest of these. That's working quite well. Uh, this here, I could possibly change one of those over to green algae. This is working nicely. Everything is... It, it's flowing continuously, and it doesn't look like I've got any part of this slowing it down excessively. Like they, they are all working the way they should. So we want to run over this way. I've got red circuits coming in. I've got all of those going in where they need to. Everything, every, everything is going in where it should. We've got everything working the way that we want it to work and the way that it should work. I've got over here a few stacks of timber. So I'm going to take two stacks of timber right there. That has now allowed me some more inserters, which is helpful. I've got an awful lot of copper going in here. It's bits of shielding and copper cabling and copper this and copper that and, and all sorts of things. There's loads of them going in there. So what wood processing, what are we waiting for on this? Production data cores and then the red science. Well, the red science is going in. It's the production data cores. That's the one that we're waiting on right on these. And it's because of the red circuits. The red circuits are not getting through to this one here. And the red circuits should be running up along here. So we will backtrack along here and we'll have a look. They should be coming in here. I got red circuits coming off down there. And I've got red circuits coming. So there's no red circuits running along this belt right here. That's where they should be coming through. So the red circuits are being pulled out onto this bit. And they're going no further than that. I've got the red circuits actually flowing now. And they're flowing quite nicely. I've got 
Copper running down here pretty quickly. These seem to be working quite nicely. Um, everything seems to be working. I don't seem to have any major limits on it. The grey circuits are a little bit limited, but not too bad at the moment. i got plenty of copper running down through. That's working nicely as well. It's just a case of waiting for it to build back up now that we've got the cellulose fibre all running in through as well. I think that is all we need to worry about. And then I've got the electronic blocks. They're running at... Right, the electronic blocks have reached there. It's because we needed electronic blocks as well, so the electronic blocks have sort of taken priority. But they will eventually get through, and then these will get through, and then those will be made, and the wood processing will finish. And then we can start working on the next bit. So we've got the green algae processing right there, which is the level 2 version of that. And that's something that is going to be helpful again. Faster inserters. I think faster inserters is something that we want to get going pretty good. Pump jack research is one that I want to do quite soon. There's lots, well, there's actually loads. I think green electronics is the one that we really need to sort of be aiming for. And we're, so we're doing wood, we need farming, we need cabling components. We just keep going the way we are. That's, that's, that's all we can do is just keep doing what we're doing. And hope for the best. Um, right, well, in which case, we will wander over this way. I've now got timber. I've got everything else that I wanted. So, landfill is going to... There's another thing that I wanted was some more landfill. So, I want to go into not bioprocessing water treatment in here. And it's that one right there that I want. I want fluid boxes, production blocks, construction blocks. I want to be able to build... 10 of these so that I can make another big section of that so that I've got a lot more landfill being produced because that is a passive thing right there. And then we will deal with getting some more power up and running and um, fully supplied. So we'll wander back over and have a look at the fluid boxes because that was one thing that I was making. And uh, plus I've also got other bits I'm going to need to gather up for 10 of these things that I want to build. Uh, there is the fluid boxes up there. How many have we made so far? 210. That's more like it. Uh, nine for each one. I need 90 for that. That's absolutely brilliant. 210? How many can I put in a stack of fluid boxes? Oh, I'm guessing that's going to be a like a thousand in a stack or something obscene. Some of these things do, I, I think they are, I think that is a mistake. I don't think it's supposed to go more than um, 100, uh, more than 200. But, you know, sometimes these things do happen. Right, well, I got them. Construction blocks. I've got 157, so I've actually got enough construction blocks to make this. But if I take another part of a stack like that. Wait, what? They've gone up to a thousand in a stack. They've actually increased to one thousand per stack. So these items, they're, they're going back over. And they're now increasing the number in a stack. Now the construction frames, that doesn't appear to have changed. That's not changed. They're still two hundred to a stack. But these have changed up to a thousand per stack as these are a thousand per stack. So my construction frames, well, at least they're running slow-ish. So there's a slight tweak that has been made to the game. We've got some of these things are now working on a thousand per stack instead of 200 per stack. That's, that's an interesting development, that is. So construction blocks... The fluid boxes, I've got enough of. Production blocks right there, I've got 75 of those. That's more than enough. So I need electronics blocks. I need 40 electronics blocks. So we're going to wander down that way, and we're going to go to the electronic blocks supply. 
and I'm going to grab 40 of them. I've got a few other bits of uh, things that I need to make, but here are the electronics blocks. I've got 28 red circuits. I'm going to dump all of those into that one. And that's going to put out some of these electronic blocks. And then I want to go up here and I want to grab some of them. I'm going to take a few off of take a few off the line right here. Uh, that's put me on 19. I'm going to need more than that. There. Yeah. Uh, 52. Right, so I've now got 13 of these. One, two, like that. That has made 10 of those. I want one seafloor pump. Like that. Which I've now got. And then in order to build the rest of that little getup that we want over that side. I need a clarifier. Should be that one. I don't think there's anything else that I need for this. I've got those two chests. That'll be easy enough. And then I uh, just need a regular pump. Now what I will do. I've got the underground pipes. I will have that one. I've got underground pipes, I've got copper pipes, I've got plenty of those. I've got some inserters, I could do with a few more of them. One, two, three, four. Let's just get 20 of those being made. I've got belts. It's one pump, one regular pump that I also want, which is in, not in Bob's Logistics. Where would I find a regular production, a regular pump right there? Look at these crystal clear updated graphics they're so pretty seriously every they're bringing them all out now they're bringing them all out and they are so pretty look at the stone there there's one uh metallurgy in here that's not got any these haven't i do wonder if angels and bobs are planning to do upgraded up upgraded upgraded graphics like, just the timber, look at that. Look at the level of detail on that timber. Oh, it's exquisite. It's absolutely exquisite. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can... Let's, let's just have a look at this just a little bit more closely, shall we? We'll go here and we'll put that up to 400%. Confirm. Back. Zoom. Bring that up. Look at the exquisite nature of these pictures here. The wood on there, that is just beautiful. You, you see the difference between these and the standard graphics on some of these others. It is just amazing. It is absolutely beautiful. I uh, can't really see what's going on down here. So it's difficult to compare these, but I mean, you can look at those right on there and then the difference here between that inserter and that inserter, like that, they're, they're just, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It is just absolutely stunning. The, the level of detail on that, it's, it's just fantastic. But anyway, we don't want to be, be staring at this with it like that so we will go back to the automatic 200 percent like that right resume that's a bit better that's that's a little bit more um manageable isn't it we, we can see what we're doing now what was i doing oh yes yeah, so i was doing the washing plant right but then the other thing that we want to do is as kind of like in the idea of the robots being able to do this so i'm gonna need some additional robot stuff we want angels logistics i've got enough to make some construction zone expanders i what am i gonna need for this i've got six electronic blocks right there that's why I need electronic blocks. Right, so we need to go back here and I just need to grab a few more electronic blocks. I'm using a lot of these. I'm using a lot of these and I need to be using them for other things really, but I'm not. I'm just here stealing them off the line. I'm taking too many right there. That's what I want to do. I want to grab a load of those. Right, there's a few more. That's more like it. Okay. We will do one, two of those, and then five of those, just to keep us going. That'll that'll be enough there. We can expand the range of operations out over this way a little bit. We've got zone expanders and stuff down this way. So that's covering all of that 
area down there. I uh, haven't worried about the timber down that way. And we're not going to. I just want to expand this bit out. So what we'll do here... Hmm. I could just do this with my own little bit. I've Oh, I've only got five robots. Oh, I had it before. I had robots before. And then I got rid of them. I decided to change it round. So I will just plonk a chest down here. And then into that chest, I'm going to put washing plant and that one and that one. I need two of those to go into here. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll turn this into a blueprint first. So if I... Well, it won't be a blueprint. It's just going to be a copy. I'm just going to do this. Let me go like that and bring that down there. And right, that's 64 belts, 37 pipes, 22 underground pipes. We've got 14 power... Uh, a couple of chests and a few other bits as well. So I've got that bit right on there. Um, which means that then I can run down onto you. I can put 100 of them in. I can put 50 of those in. i got some belts that I can put in. I think that was all I needed to put in of those. I want some electric poles to go in. And that's pretty much most of it, I think. At those, at the poles, I got those. I need two chests, big chest. That's those two. And I need that pump that we made. There, that's that one. There is nothing else that I need. That is absolutely everything that I need. I've got the crawler robot boxes there. I'm just going to wait for these to make, and then we can add everything in together. Crawler robot boxes and small construction zone expanders. So now we can start joining this lot together. I need to be able to cover that zone up there. So what I'm going to do first up is I'm going to go here and I'm going to take the landfill and take the landfill. And then we take this and I will run up here. Now I'd actually like to make this so that I don't have... So I want to go there. I want to make that super small like that. So that bit will go out. And then I want to run down here. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to be overlapping the land. I want to try to avoid doing that as much as possible. So that I don't waste any of this landfill. Because this landfill is a precious, precious resource. We do not want to waste it. So I put that one in there. I've got two lots there. See, I can come along there, and you've got to be careful. It's very easy to use too much. So if I keep this in straight lines, there, I don't end up accidentally using too much of it. And then I want another one here. I need two to fill in that little bit. This has got to go up further. To allow me a bit more room to play on here. Now, the seafloor pump up there isn't quite as important. Just so long as I've got room to do my paste down here. Now, I don't have anywhere near enough room at the moment. That's going to go... I actually want to put that one there. But that's where I want to put it. So I need to come right out to the island over there. And I don't think I've got enough room. I'm on to 163 at the moment. And I don't think that I've got enough room. I bring that one out there. So I do want to have this one double wide. And that's just going to run all the way down there like that. And see, I don't, I don't have enough landfill to be able to finish making this thing. Which is heartbreaking, to be honest. I can run down here, but I don't have enough room here to properly do this. I take that down smaller now, and I will go up through these bits. Try and fill in these. One, two, three, four, there, and then go out again. Like that. And then that's out that side. And then down to here, I see... I might be able to fit that bit in. Depends where that's got to go. Paste. 
right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So that one wants to go there. I'm all right for most of this. There's only a little bit down here that's got to go wider. I need to just expand that out a little bit down there. I've only got 13 of these left. But I think we can do this. Uh, fill that in there. And then this is going to need it's going to need to come up to this point. So I want to go there. I actually want to go out by 2 there. I'm going to just fill that bit in. So I'll take that one. I got 10 in there and I got 9 in there. Run back over here. We've got 19 more land fill that I can put here to that point. Let's have a look. Let's see how we do with our pace. That one wants to go right there. Okay, I used way too much landfill down the bottom. I didn't need that much. Now at the top. I need to use just a little bit more at the top. And we can just fill in a few of these bits up here. So I've got a bit of landfill there. So we want to go to paste on here. That's where we want to go. Right. You can see what I need to do. Right on here, I've got to have a little bit of landfill. Right there, right in front of me. i got 13 that I can use here. So I will do that as a double out there like that. And then here on that corner, I want a little bit of landfill. Paste. Bring this in. Bring it in high and tight. So everything is okay on there. It's just this bit right here. Eight. Can we do it with eight bits of landfill? I need to bring that one over there. And then I think from where I'm standing is where it's got to go. Zoom out a bit more. I want to stay where I'm standing. Yes. I need to go right in front of where I'm stood right now. I want to go one, two like that. And I think that is sufficient. Paste. Zoom out a little bit and put that. It It is. It's absolutely spot on perfect. Boom. There. I've got everything laid out. Absolutely spot on perfect. So I'm going to take those three and I'm just going to fill in that bit. There we go. All right, I filled in a couple of extra bits. I'm not going to do anything different. I'm going to bring that back down here. I've got two factories that need to go in here as well, which I don't have. So we'll just put those, we'll drop those 33 in there. And then I can take a crawler robo box right here. And that one's going to go over that side. I do have to put power onto this one, which I don't currently have. So Angel's power, if you'd be so kind as to allow me a few electricity poles, that would be fantastic. And then I can take this one. So I want to join that one up there down with this one. So in order to start doing that, I will bring this one over here. I'll go like that. I'll go like that. And I'll bring that one out onto there. So that's going to power that one up. And then if I bring this one out on here, I can get it to connect up. There. I'll have that connect. And then I want to connect this slightly in the wrong place. Right, I join those two together like that. So it does, it connects the whole network in together. So I now should have robots on their way over to come and get some of this. And then I can go and take that one and I can put it down there like that. I don't want to go any higher than that, not for a minute. Although it would probably be better if I had some more of those. Because I got this crawler robo box, but the, the robo box can't fit in here anywhere. I got nowhere really that I can go and put that one. I've got these. Well, I got that one. That one can go there. I need one more of them. I, I'll go and get that one. I'll go and get it down the bottom. Look, and here come the robots down here. I'm going to run down this side down here. Now, that's actually in a line, and... Oh, that's just great. That's not going to work. Okay, fine. Angel's Logistics. I will make one more like this. I will do it manually like that. That one extra will be enough, and then that will be enough to get all of this up and running down over here, because this connection is like... A, it's a long 
It's a bit of a tenuous connection. It is there. We are connected in. It's just going to take a minute or two for it to actually connect up. All of these are working, except that now I've got every single one waiting to queue up on that single crawler robo box right there, which is going to take a while for them to actually get through, and I've got no way of being able to put this one in. There's no room at the inn for this one at all, unless I can... Ooh, maybe I could put it over there. Would that work? I suppose I could bring it over here. If I can drop it down, no, I, I can't like drop it in here. I, I need a whole load more of these crawler robo boxes. It's just not going to work out very well for me. They're running all the way down here. That they're running a long way away from where we are right now, in order to properly charge things, and it's just not going to work out very well for them. It's going to take ages to get all the way over there. If I can move this one. Over this way, by a nice long way. Look, see how far I can move it. Can't go that far. I can bring it over to there. And actually put it all the way up there. Like that. That's not in the way of that one. Which means that I might be able to put this crawler robo box down right here. Or I could if I had some more landfill. And the landfill is available. It's down here. Take that one and that one. So I've got another 33 landfill. All I need to do is just like carefully put that down around here. So that I can expand that bit out. And then once I've done all of this, I will then go and do the power. I said that we need to do power. And that is on my to-do list. So fear not, it is going to be done. I bring that out like that, and then I put one in there. There we go. We've got a nice square on that. and squared that bit off quite nicely there. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. So you can go in there, and I need to just put a power pole on there. And then if I look down this way... The issue down here is that I got no cross over there. So now I've crossed over the power poles. They're all joined up together. The underground pipes. Did I put any of those in here? I did not put underground pipes in, did I? I got 38 of them right there. So I'll put those 38 in. And there we go with the underground pipes. They're going to run those straight out. Run them up to all of the different spots that they've got to go, and then they will charge up. They're, they're dropping, these are dropping all the way. Construct 100 machines using robots. We'll probably keep activating that. We'll probably frequently be activating the um, uh, different achievements, because like with the big updates in the game, it like restarts a lot of them. So you're not just left with the same ones constantly. And there goes a pipe on there. So all of these are now waiting to charge one at a time on there. Just going to take a minute or two for that to happen. And now I'm looking in here. And we have reached the full outermost limits of power. So we're going to leave the robots doing what they're doing here. Because I kind of don't want... Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.